deer becoming a problem in some parts of the country and in this video I'm going to show you how you can keep deer out of your garden by using a low fence. And I'll discuss a couple other options for you. Now I have about six acres here. It's pretty wild. A lot of bush in here. And when I moved in, I had lots of deer coming through the property all times of the year. They didn't come right up to the house except in winter. But out here, where we're a distance from the house, they're roaming wherever they wanted. This here's my vegetable garden, and I wanted to protect the plants. So what can you do about that? The first thing people think about when they're trying to protect plants is to use some kind of spray. There are a couple options. There's the commercial products that you can spray on, and the research has shown that they work about 50% of the time, and you have to keep applying them. Now, there's some DIY concoctions too, like human urine and Irish spring soap and uh, pepper sprays and all kinds of silly things. The research on that isn't very positive. Those things work about 30% of the time, and some of them even less than that. And again, you have to apply them all the time. One thing I did do on this property is I made a lot of pathways. And there's a pathway running right here, and one up the hill, and one over there. And I found that once you put in pathways, the deer follow them most of the time. So that keeps deer off there because they're here. Now, why do deer do that? Deer are kind of lazy, and they take the easiest route. If they're trying to get from one end of the property to the other, and they can follow a pathway, even if it's a longer pathway than going straight through the bush, they'll take the pathway because it's easier for them. Going through all this shrubbery and trees is hard work. Now, even a pathway is not perfect. They don't stay on it all the time. So how do I keep them out of my vegetable garden? Well, it helps to understand deer. Deer can jump about eight feet. And so a lot of people recommend a fence that's eight feet tall. And that works for the most part. Deer can actually jump that fence. But again, they tend to be a little lazy, so they don't bother. So an eight foot fence does work, but that's a big structure that you have to put up. Now, the other thing about deer is that they don't like jumping into small areas. They like to be free, and they're afraid that they're going to get trapped in those small areas. So when I built this area, I decided to put up low walls, but keep the inside relatively small. So this is kind of an odd-shaped garden because it's set into the side of a hill here. But this end over here is about 10 feet deep. The front here is about 45 feet long, and the wall at the other end is about 16 feet deep. And then we have another one over there. Now, I've also put some center walls in here. And this is where I have my climbing vegetables. But it also has the effect of making this space smaller. These walls are four feet high. And I have gone underground maybe six inches. That keeps the rabbits from getting underneath the fence. But that's it. There's nothing else up here. And guess what? Deer never jump in here. This has been up for about 12 years now, and in all that time, I've only seen deer track once. And they were very small hoof prints, so I know the deer was a little baby deer, and he probably didn't know any better. And if you're small, then this looks like a pretty big space. But I've never seen adult deer prints in this garden. And yet they come along here all the time, and the juicy vegetables are right there. It's easy for them to jump in, but they don't because they don't like those close spaces. So if you enclose your vegetable area with a low fence and keep it reasonably small, that will keep the deer out. You don't need to go any higher. Now let me show you another enclosure I have that is also working. I've done it a little differently. This is one of my enclosures, and I have chicken wire up four feet from the bottom. Now that's not high enough to keep deer out. They'll have no trouble jumping over this. But I've added something that's working really well. When I put the corner posts up, I went up eight feet. And then I strung a wire across the top. So this is completely open, but there's a thin wire up here. Now it's a good idea to take some bits of plastic and tie it on here. That way the deer are more likely to see it 
But to be honest with you, I haven't done this and it still works fine. And this enclosure has been up for about five years now and I've never seen deer track in here. This wire is enough to keep the deer out. So you can build a low fence, an eight foot wire, and that works just as well as an eight foot fence. So there you have it. A couple simple ways to enclose your plants and keep the deer out. Have fun in the garden.